All right, contestants, congratulations on getting here this far. This is how it works. In a moment, a question and four answers will appear on your screens. The one who puts those answers in the correct order in the fastest time will be our next player. Our audience need complete silence right now. Thank you very much. Here comes the question. Put these men in order of how long they served as president, starting with the longest. William Henry Harrison, Franklin Roosevelt, Ronald Reagan, John Kennedy. All right, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the longest. Franklin Roosevelt, Ronald Reagan, John Kennedy, William Henry Harrison. That's the order. Let's see who got it right and in the fastest time. And the winner is Brian Podera. Brian, how are you? Congratulations, man. Nice, nice to have you here. You did it good. Ready to go? Let's do it, baby. So it's uh, Brian Fodera, 24 years old, from Newton, Massachusetts, formerly from New York City. Brooklyn, New Went York. to uh, Regis High School, as a matter of fact. Yes, I did. And uh, it's my understanding that you are named after the high school. That's right. My father right. went there. Is that right? That's right. You know, I, I hate it when the guest is better dressed than I am. Well, <laughs> Regis, you are a trendsetter, and this solid tie is not a coincidence. That's right. You got the solid tie on, too. Good for you. <laughs> All right, Brian. You know the rules here, you know the lifelines, 50-50, ask the audience, phone a friend, it's all here for you. So if you're ready, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. All right, Brian, we begin with $100. According to the nursery rhyme, what did a little Jack Horner pull from a pie? Ribbon, plum, blackbird, little Jill Horner. Well, Regis, I was kind of afraid of nursery rhymes as early questions here, but uh, I think I know this one. Um, I'm going to say... C, Blackbird. You know, it's kind of tense, isn't it, for a $100 question? It really question. is. Yeah. So, you know, it's not like anybody's watching. <laughs> so your final answer is? Um, final answer is C, Blackbird. He says, Blackbird, my gosh, it was a plum. Brian, I'm sorry. Anyway, Brian, it was a plum. Yeah, sometimes those things are a little obscure in your memory. But uh, so maybe... Something about four and 20 blackbirds baked in a pie was in my head. Brian, it's too late. It's over. I know. <laughs> nice try and good luck to you. And uh, I'm sorry. Those were two of the saddest exits in the history of our show. Uh, we never know what quite to say when something like that happens, so I guess we're going to take a commercial. That's always safe. Go to commercial. Stay tuned. We'll be right back in a moment.